Hello everyone. If you regularly use Traitron, you know how important is the deployed page. Pretty much all the action of Traitron is happening on the deployed page where you can see all your live strategies, all the paper traded strategies, all the uh, live PNLs, all uh, pretty much everything is visible to you on the deployed page. With that, we also keep adding different updates, different uh, different enhancements, different features on this page. So I thought let's do a video dedicated to the deployed page where we cover in depth all the different functionalities of the page so that you can make the best use of this page, make use of all the different tools and, and uh, the features that you have to your disposal uh, on this page uh, and you can make the best use of all the deployments that you're making on Traitron. So without any further ado, let's directly get into it. Now I will broadly be talking about five points out here. And each point I will elaborate more about what uh, what is it that I'm covering. So the first part that I will cover will basically be the filters. Now filters is one of the most underrated part of the deployed page. Um, in the filters, you can pretty much filter a lot of different things like filter by the creators, exchanges, execution, status, brokers uh, and, and the different strategy types. Now in each of the filters, you can get a multi-select option. So for example, let's say if I select, if I have strategies that are running on, uh, on MCX, I can choose to have a filter on MCX. And when I filter this, I will basically be able to see all the strategies that I have running on the MCX uh, exchange. Now with that, I can choose to have a filter on other, uh, other things as well. So let's say if I have strategies on MCX and I want the strategies that are running on, let's say, um, uh, running on IFL, I will select my broker. So now this filter is basically going to give me the strategies which are run on MCX and the broker is basically IFL. So if I filter it, they will find that there are no strategies available. Now with that, I can also reset this filter. And when I do this, it will basically clear all the filters that I have previously and it will show me all my strategies in one place uh, in, in one account. Now in this filters, I can also run a filter of multiple different things. So for example, um, let's say I want to see strategies which are running on paper trading as well as live auto, but I don't want to see the strategies which are in live offline and live auto one click. Now, what are these different execution types? We will cover it in a future video. Uh, so be tuned for that. And if you haven't liked uh, and subscribed to the channel, please do so uh, to get more updates about everything algo. Um, now, when I select my execution out here and I select these two, uh, live auto and paper trading, and I filter out here, I will now see that all the strategies that are either paper trading or on live auto will basically be visible out here. So I can see my broker as paper trading, paper trading, paper trading. And uh, if, if there are any live auto strategies, they will be visible out here as well. Now, again, with that, I also get the ability to uh, reset the filter. And within the filters, I also see strategies out here uh, type as shared with me. So um, we have this feature called share access code. And uh, this is a feature with which you can you can uh, manage multiple different accounts. Uh, I have videos on this, so you can choose to see deployments made by other people on your deployed page when you select this uh, shared with me uh, type in your in your strategy. Um, again, uh, this this basically can help you organize your deployed page much better. And with that, like uh, covering this part, covering the filters will also basically make changes in the summary section. Now, the summary will basically give you certain data points. What data points it gives you? Uh, it gives you the capital, it gives you the PNL, and it gives you the value of the positions. Now, uh, with that, uh, you can see that this summary can basically be based on the today, uh, which is for the intraday basis. So on an intraday basis, whatever, whatever is the data points, or it could be based on the expiry, which will basically select the latest expiry that is coming in. So if I select today, I will see that the values will change as compared to what it is for expiry. So the expiry based PNL will basically be a minus 7000 and so on. But if I select today, it will basically filter out the PNL, which is for the today's day, uh, the, the intraday MTM based uh, PNL. Um, now in here, I can see that there is the capital out here that is shown. Now the capital that you see out here is basically summation of the all the capitals that you see for all the strategies that you have. Uh, that you have uh, seen that you are seeing out here now in your it is important to note that when we are looking at the summary section this summary is basically being filtered based on the filters that you've selected so for example let's say if i select my filter as as an mcx uh, what we saw previously as 
as the capital of 24 lakhs or so will now change to 1 lakh because it is showing me only the capital PNL and value based on this one deployment and not everything on the uh, not all my deployments. So this way, whatever uh, let's say if I want to see on all my paper trade strategies what has been the profit or on all my live auto strategies what has been the profit I can choose to just run a filter and I can use this filter plus this uh, this uh, summary in in order to understand what what is my overall portfolio doing on TradeTron. Um, so now I'll just reset the filter and I can see that it my capital has gone back to 24 lakh. Now this 24 lakh like I mentioned is a summation of all the individual capitals within my deployments out here. Now with that there's also the PNL that uh, we discussed and the PNL is basically out here in absolute rupees and then a percentage of basically your capitals and then you see the value of all the positions. Now uh, the value of positions is basically this part summed up. So for all the deployments whatever is the total of these particular values that you see uh, is basically being shown as the value of all the positions um, and the, what you see as here as the POS is basically the positions that are there, the, the open positions that are there in that particular deployment. With that there are two modes in here. There is one the light mode and there is the pro mode. Now the light mode and pro mode is, is nothing to do with the functionality. Uh, what, what this does basically is that uh, sometimes when you look at all the individual positions you tend to get scared uh, as a person uh, because you know you have so many open positions and when market moves it it kind of emotionally uh, emotionally works on you. So what you can do out here is that when you select the light mode, it will not show you the details of all the different positions. Instead, it will only show you what is what is happening on a strategy level. So for example, for this particular strategy, I can see that this is particularly the profit that is running for that particular strategy. So it doesn't show me any of the positions that are there. It just shows me the overall profit or loss that is running for that strategy. Um, again, when I select to pro mode, it will basically give me the details of all the different positions and the quantity and the PNL of each position uh, independently and so on. Now, uh, given that we've understood everything on a on a portfolio level, now let's look at it on a deployment level. So, for example, we will look at this particular deployment out here, right? So, when we are looking at this particular deployment, we can see certain things. So, one, you can see the name of that strategy. Uh, with that you can see the creator's name. So if I am looking at a marketplace strategy that I am deploying on paper trade or live, I will be able to see the name and I will see the creator's name which could be a market star or, or whatever. So whatever creator's name is there will be visible out here. With that you will see this SID button. Now this SID is a very important number. This is like a unique identification code that uh, that is assigned to that particular deployment only. So whenever someone from the Tratron support team asks you for the SID, this is basically the number that they are looking for and with this code they will be able to understand what strategy are you referencing to. Um, with that you can see the deployed date on which date was it deployed, what was the capital, what is the execution, what is the current status of that strategy along with the broker and the counter. Now uh, the counter is basically like a uh, like a uh, like a run of that particular strategy. So one let's say if I have uh, if I have an entry and I have an exit uh, an entry and a universal exit. So everything between the entry to the universal exit happens in one one counter. After that if the strategy restarts the counter will change and it will go to the next counter. So let's say if, if I have an intraday strategy on today's day it, it took an entry so it will basically be in counter one. After that the next day it takes an entry it will be in counter two and so on. So this way I have I have everything organized on the level of a counter so I can see for each counter what is happening in my particular strategy. Now with that I can see the different instruments so I can see a nifty 27th March 2025 call of 21700 and I can see the quantity and I can see the LTP of that instrument. So what was the price at which that instrument uh, what is the current price of that particular instrument. Now I can see the value the value is basically the LTP multiplied by the quantity which will give me the value and it also gives me the profit. Uh, the running profit. Now all of these values of LTP that you are seeing, these are the live values. We get the data live from for all of these instruments that you have traded and these live values are basically being showcased to you out here. Um, with that for all the instruments out here, so for example for this instrument I can see what was the uh, what was the specifics of that instrument. So I can see on which date was that instrument traded. I can see the time, I can see the condition type. So did it, did it 
a get triggered because of an entry or a repair once or a repair continuous or an exit and so on all of these details will be visible to me i can see the name of that instrument i can see the quantity price and the amount for that particular instrument now in your uh, assume a case when let's say uh, you take you took a trade but when you look at the broker you are seeing that the price is different or there is some deviation in price uh, in that case or let's say you averaged into that particular trade uh, in that case you can always update the price at which you your trade was actually taken so for example in this price uh, let's say uh, for the sake of assumption this trade did not happen at 776 it happened at 775 Uh, i can just come to the actions out here and in here i can change change the quantity or the price or both so let's say if, if my price of entry was 776.5 and not 45 i can just change it to this uh, 776.5 and once i select okay it will basically make that change and assume that particular change and now if i uh reopen this particular uh this particular uh, you can see 776 as updated in the price So now let's understand a bit about the multiplier. Uh, the multiplier out here on Tradetron is basically uh, like a position sizing that I want to have for my deployment. So let's assume uh, I have uh, I have as a creator made a strategy for one lot. So in that case, if someone deploys it based on one x multiplier, uh, all the trades will basically be taken for one lot for that particular instrument. Uh, or for that particular strategy now for the sake of understanding let's say if i have 10 lakh rupees of capital and this strategy requires only 3 lakhs in that case i want to run it at a 3x multiple i wanted to take a position worth 9 lakh rupees because i have that much capital at my disposal in that case i can choose to have my multiplier running at 3x what this does is that it scales up the position so all of the trades all the entries exits which were previously happening based on one lot will now happen based on three lots and so on uh, so this is basically uh, the multiplier now an important thing the multiplier out here should be uh, should be used uh, uh, should be changed only when the strategy is basically exited uh, or it is uh, it has not taken any positions so in that case it would be safe to change the multiplier if you change it while the strategy is live entered like it is doing right now like the strategy is live entered and i change the multiplier to something in that case all the trades that it currently has will stay the same all the adjustments if any will basically happen based on a 5x multiplier so this is one thing that you need to take care of especially if you are running a marketplace strategy uh, if you um, if you are running a marketplace strategy and you want to increase or decrease the multiplier it would always be suggested to archive the deployment or to uh, change that deployment state uh, change that deployment or exit that deployment and redeploy it at a higher multiplier uh, if you need to um now let's come to the uh, come to the three dots and what what the different uh, what what we get on the uh, on the three dot selection now uh, before that you will see that there are some quick actions like the pause strategy and the exit strategy now this is fairly straightforward uh, if i want to pause the strategy at any point i can choose to pause and if i want to start the strategy i can choose to start and if i want to exit it i can just in one click trigger an exit for that particular deployment now the three dots also gives me these two options so i could either do it from these icons or i can do it from these options uh, and i can uh, get some more data about that particular strategy now uh, these these data points that you are seeing these are available for the strategies that you have created yourself and not necessarily for the marketplace strategies so um, for any strategy let's say if i have the uh, i have the statistics now the statistics is basically like uh, similar to uh, a backtest report it gives us all the details since the first counter onwards up till now whatever is the strategies uh, 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 daily or tra traded results so my strategy out here that we are seeing was running since 2021 and on a day to day basis i can see what kind of uh, profit or loss was generated by that particular strategy uh, it it basically generates an equity curve for me based on all the data of the deployment Uh, i can see the capital required the the uh, trading statistics like the the streaks and the 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 max profit and the drawdown and average trades in a day and and so on along with the day wise and month wise summary and reports of the same so this basically gives me a lot of data which i can use uh, for my understanding to to uh, improve on the strategy or improve on more different versions of the strategy with that we also have 
the payoff uh, chart for that particular strategy. Now, the payoff chart will basically look at all the open positions, and based on the open positions, it will give me uh, what my what would be my profit or loss in case of a uh, in case of the theta decay and uh, in case of the expiry of that instrument. So, for example, let's say if I'm looking at this strategy uh, on expiry, which is on the uh, uh, on the 27th of March. This is how my, my profit or loss would look like and I can now assume that let's say based on the underlying movement uh, beyond certain levels, what kind of profit or loss would I be looking at in case I'm, uh, in case I'm deploying the strategy. With that, we also have the intraday PNL. The intraday PNL basically gives the MTM fluctuations uh, per unit of time. Uh, so for every five minutes of time, it will give me what were the recorded values of the MTM profit or loss. Um, and I can also download this data. Now this data can help me understand uh, what were the uh, what was the highest high of the profit or lowest low of the loss that uh, my strategy took before exiting in that particular day or that particular counter. Um, with that, there is also something that is really underrated and a lot of people don't know about which is basically the live offline uh, strategy deployment type. Now, what exactly is this live offline? Live offline is basically a deployment type, which is very similar to paper trading. Uh, this is made at the time when we didn't have so many different brokers supporting Tradetron. Uh, and in this deployment type, uh, everything would work exactly like paper trading. But out here, the difference is that whenever you are running a strategy on live or offline, you can choose to switch it to a live auto uh, strategy. So for example, uh, let's say if I am someone who wants my exits to be handled by Tradetron, but I want to take the entries manually uh, in a particular strategy. In that case, I can deploy my strategy based on live offline mode. And then once I have deployed it on live offline, I can change this to live auto. So when this is on live auto, now the status has basically changed to live auto and all the exits will basically get checked and, and triggered based on this live auto uh, mode. So there you have it. All the powerful features of the Tradetron's deployed page covered in one video under one roof with all the uh, with all the data possible to be able to help you understand this page better and make the best use of all the deployments that you can uh, on your Tradetron uh, on your Tradetron uh, account. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. I would love to know in the comment section about what is the uh, what are the parts that you love the most about the deployed page and what all additions do you want us to want us to do on this uh, page and the platform or in the videos in general. Um, thank you very much. Until next time, goodbye.